printing money is bad, mm-hmm. right? It's inflationary. Mm-hmm. Uh, but borrowing printed money is insane. <laughs> Interview the other day, uh, a couple of days ago with Bloomberg, and uh, he says, by any measure, real long-term interest rates are much too low, duh, and therefore unsustainable, <laughs> former Federal Reserve said. He said, when they move higher, they are likely to move reasonably fast. We are experiencing a bubble, but not in stock prices, but in bond prices. This is not yeah. discounted in the marketplace. So mm. this is nothing new. I mean, we've, you've, we've, you've talked about the bond yeah, bubble we, thing yeah, forever, you know, so this is not news, but... I wonder what the motive could be for the former head dude to say something like this uh, out there. Any? Well, after all, he does have his clients. You oh, know, I know. He cannot yeah. be wrong all the time. So Greenspan Associates is now a, um, it's a, it's an advisory firm, and if people are paying you for your advice, boy, you better be right. Don't be wrong. Mm-hmm. So, um, are, are there people with bonds that are? Just kind of hanging out there because they don't believe any of this stuff that we see or you say or Green, Greenspan says or, or Bill Gross, the, the bond, <laughs> but the bond dude. I mean, do they they just wait until the thing busts or, or is it or all? Or they gamble against it. You know, they, the the folks that are holding bonds for most part. Remember, I've discussed this in the past. Are regular individuals, right? Sure. They are not. Uh, they're not institutions corporations so an individual's uh, portfolio that contains bonds are generally those folks that don't think about it (laughs) they just buy the bonds and off to the races they go Mm -hmm. or they buy an annuity and know that every month that check is going to show up in the mailbox or the fixed investment invest fixed income investor is different from the stock market investor the fixed income investor sees his path as safe, so it doesn't want to take a lot of risk. So I'm not going to buy this security, this share of stock that may go up or may go down. Right? I'm going to buy this bond that yields a steady coupon or steady payment every month, and that's how I'm going to live through my retirement. So those folks, unfortunately, don't view the capital loss in bonds because it occurs so infrequently. It's, uh, you know, the circumstance uh, where the bond, your your maturity, your face value of your bond would fall and, and it would be noticed by the investor. No. What they're going to notice is that they, the check came this month and it's exactly the same as it was last month. You know, a great many of these are holding them to maturity. And, and when they're, if they're not, they're just going to pass them on to their children as part of their um, uh, inheritance. Mm-hmm. So, so they a don't different care. type of investor. Mm-hmm. It's a different kind of investor. I, I don't want to say they don't care. If they understood, I think they'd care greatly. But for the most part, these are folks that, uh, you know, when they reach retirement age, they want a fixed income. And so in order to get that, they buy a portfolio of bonds and varying maturities, and they hold them. And, and it yields every month, throws off a check uh, that they find uh, – in the mailbox or electronically deposited in their account without any fluctuation. You know, it's very steady. It's something they can count on. And so it's, for that reason, viewed as safe. And as Mr. Greenspan points out, it's anything but safe. So you might get your your payment every month still. Maybe they don't default. But that 3% bond that you're getting income from or that they are getting income from, when interest rates go to 6%, um, that bond is worth half what it was. So that's a principal loss. Again, you don't feel it at the mailbox. You don't feel it in the direct deposit. But in the underlying value of the bond, well, you, you certainly will feel it, the loss of principal.